Well, hi everyone, Steve Patterson here once again from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how to give someone rainbow colored eyes with Photoshop. In a previous video, I showed you how to easily change eye color in a photo. But why choose one eye color when you can have every color at once? To create the effect, we'll use the ellipse tool, one of Photoshop's basic shape tools. We'll draw a circular shape over each eye and then fill the shape with a gradient. We'll use the spectrum gradient, which gives us every color in the rainbow. To blend the colors into the eyes, we'll use one of Photoshop's layer blend modes. Then we'll clean things up using a layer mask. Finally, we'll learn how to customize the effect and create different looks just by changing the gradient settings. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but every step is fully compatible with Photoshop CS6. Be sure to check out this tutorial on our website where you also have access to the text version, so you can watch the video or read through the steps anytime you like. Thanks for joining me and let's get started. Here's the image I'll be using. I downloaded this one from Adobe Stock. Let's start by selecting the ellipse tool from the toolbar. By default, the ellipse tool is hiding behind the rectangle tool. Click and hold on the rectangle tool's icon until a flyout menu appears. Then choose the ellipse tool from the menu. With the Ellipse tool selected, go up to the Options bar along the top of the screen and set the Tool Mode to Shape. This will let us draw vector shapes as opposed to paths or pixel-based shapes. Next, we need to tell Photoshop how we want to fill the shape. Click on the Fill Type Color Swatch in the Options bar. We need to fill the shape with a gradient, so select the Gradient thumbnail at the top of the dialog box. Then scroll through the gradients and choose the Spectrum Gradient by clicking on its thumbnail. Change the Gradient Style option from Linear to Angle. Then to close the dialog box, go back up to the Options bar and click once again on the Fill Type thumbnail. Well, let's choose one of the eyes to start with. I'll start with the eye on the left. Position your mouse cursor directly in the center of the pupil. Then click to set a starting point for the shape. With your mouse button still held down, begin dragging away from that point in any direction. As you're dragging on a Windows PC, press and hold the Shift key and the Alt key on your keyboard. On a Mac, press and hold Shift and the Option key. The Shift key forces the shape into a perfect circle, while the Alt or Option key tells Photoshop to draw the shape outward from its center. Continue dragging until the shape surrounds the entire iris, or the colored area. Don't worry if some of the shape extends into the white part of the eye or into the eyelids. We'll clean things up later. If you didn't get the shape exactly centered over the eye, keep your Shift and Alt or Option keys held down and add the spacebar. The spacebar lets us move the shape around as we're drawing it. Drag the shape into position. Then to complete the shape, release your mouse button and then release the keys on your keyboard. Make sure you release your mouse button first, then the keys. Photoshop draws the shape and fills it with the spectrum gradient. To remove the path outline from around the shape, on a Windows PC, press Enter on your keyboard. On a Mac, press Return. If we look in the Layers panel, we see the shape on its own shape layer named Ellipse 1. The shape is sitting above the image on the background layer. At the moment, the gradient fill of the shape is completely blocking the eye from view. To blend the colors of the gradient in with the eye, change the blend mode of the shape layer from normal to color. This colorizes the eye with the colors from the gradient. To clean up the areas around the eye, we'll use a layer mask. To add a layer mask to the shape layer, click the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. A layer mask thumbnail appears on the shape layer. The highlight border around the thumbnail tells us that the layer mask, not the layer itself, is now active. This means that anything we do next will be done to the mask, not the shape. We'll clean up the areas around the eye by painting on the mask with black. Select the brush tool from the toolbar. Photoshop uses the current foreground color as the brush color. So to paint with black, we need to set our foreground color to black. We can see the current foreground and background colors in the color swatches near the bottom of the toolbar. 
By default, whenever we have a layer mask selected, Photoshop sets the foreground color to white and the background color to black. To swap the colors and set your foreground color to black, press the letter X on your keyboard. You'll want to paint with a small, soft edge brush. On a Windows PC, right click anywhere inside the document. On a Mac, control click inside the document. This opens the brush preset picker. Lower the hardness value all the way down to zero. This makes the brush edges nice and soft. To close the dialog box, press Enter on a Windows PC or Return on a Mac. Then to change the size of the brush, use the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard. Each time you press the left bracket key, you'll make the brush smaller. The right bracket key makes it larger. Paint with black around the outside of the iris to remove the color. Since we're painting on the layer mask, we don't see the color of the brush as we paint. Instead, the gradient colors disappear as we paint over them. If you make a mistake and paint away some of the color in the iris, press the letter X on your keyboard to swap your foreground and background colors. This sets your foreground color to white. Paint over the area with white to restore the colors. Then press the letter X again to set your foreground color back to black and continue painting to remove the color. I'll paint over the eyelids to clean up that area as well. Once you've cleaned up the areas around the eye, paint inside the pupil to remove the gradient colors from the center. We now have our first eye colorized with our rainbow colors. Let's use the same steps again to colorize the other eye. First, select the Ellipse tool from the toolbar. All of the options we chose last time for the Ellipse tool are still active, so there's no need to set any of them again. All we need to do is position the cursor in the center of the eye. Click to set a starting point for the shape. Then, keep your mouse button held down and begin dragging away from that point. Once you've started dragging, on a Windows PC, press and hold your Shift and Alt keys. On a Mac, press and hold Shift and Option to force the shape into a circle and draw it out from its center. Continue dragging until the shape surrounds the entire iris. Add the Shift key to move and center the shape if needed. To complete the shape, release your mouse button, then release the keys on your keyboard. Photoshop draws the second shape and fills it with the same spectrum gradient. To remove the path outline from around the shape, press Enter on a Windows PC or Return on a Mac. If we look in the Layers panel, we see the second shape on its own shape layer named Ellipse 2. To blend the gradient colors in with the eye, change the Blend mode of the shape layer from Normal to Color. All we need to do now is clean up the areas around the iris. Click the Layer Mask icon at the bottom of the Layers panel to add a layer mask to the second shape layer. Then select the Brush tool from the toolbar. Your foreground color should still be set to black, so just paint around the iris to remove the color. Then paint over the pupil to remove any color from the center. And with that, the main part of the effect is done. We've colorized both eyes with our rainbow colors. If you find that the colors are too bright, simply lower the opacity of the shape layers. At the moment, the top shape layer, Ellipse 2, is selected. To select the other shape as well, press and hold your Shift key and click on the Ellipse 1 layer. Both shape layers are now selected, which means we can lower the opacity for both layers at the same time. The Opacity option is directly across from the Blend Mode option. I'll lower my opacity value from 100% down to 80%. This allows some of the original eye color to show through the shapes, reducing the intensity of the gradient colors and bringing back more of the original detail in the eyes. Now that we've created the initial rainbow eyes effect, let's learn how to customize it and create different variations. We do that by changing the gradient settings. Now we can only edit the settings for one eye at a time, so I'll start with the eye on the right. 
To edit the gradient settings, double-click on the Shape thumbnail. This opens the Gradient Fill dialog box with different options that we can change. One thing we can do here is reverse the order of the colors in the gradient. We do that by selecting the Reverse option. Photoshop shows us a live preview of the effect, so we can keep the Gradient Fill dialog box open as we experiment with the settings. Here we see that the colors in the eye on the right have reversed direction, mirroring the colors on the left. We can also rotate the colors around the eye using the Angle option. One way to change the angle is to click inside the dial and drag it around. Or you can enter a specific value. The default angle is 90 degrees. At this angle, the color red is at the top of the eye. I'll change the angle to negative 90. And now we see that red appears at the bottom. The other gradient option we can change is Style. It's currently set to Angle because that's what we chose back when we were drawing the shape. If you click on the box, you'll see other styles you can choose from. I'll change it to Radial. And here's what the radial style looks like. To accept the change, click OK to close the Gradient Fill dialog box. To change the eye on the left, double-click on the Shape thumbnail for the Ellipse 1 layer. This again opens the Gradient Fill dialog box. I'll change the style of the gradient to something different, like Diamond. I'll also select the Reverse option. To accept the changes, I'll click OK. And there we have it! That's how to easily give someone rainbow-colored eyes and how to customize the effect in Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something along the way. And I hope to see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from PhotoshopEssentials.com.